Moving past the pond, you took a deep breath of fresh air and continued on. So I think now we have to start thinking about the next boss a little bit because we know that it does that trap thingy with the strange frog, which means whatever I put down is gonna die, for sure. How can I get around that? The trifurcated strike won't help me because... The, the bifurcated strike might help because it doesn't attack what's in front of me. But the trifurcated? Not in the beginning, anyway. Hmm. Oh, yes. I know. The relief of the fresh air quickly gave way to a bone-shaking chill. You guessed at the path ahead, as the snow increasingly obscured it. You had climbed to the snow line. Is it the same every time? Like, I don't even know, because we don't see it often enough. <laughs> I can try to get some crazy good card. There's a sacrificial thingy here. Or I can get some trinkets. I haven't gotten any trinkets for a while. I've just had the hook. I can hook one of those traps. Yeah. I think I want to do a sacrifice thing though. Mantis God. But on who? It would be a waste on the wolf cub. If I put it on something that gets... That attacks very... Oh, Kingfisher. How about the Kingfisher? That's three damage. Ignoring everybody around me. Oh, that could be a good one, right? Uriuli, nice, but like seven is like super overkill already. And look at how much teeth I have that I haven't even used yet. Or the Stunted Wolf. Stunted Wolf could also be a good one. That's six damage. Not the Wolf though, because the um, sacrifice, well, the lower the better, right? So Kingfisher or Stunted Wolf. King Stunted Wolf is two. Can help me destroy a lot of people. Trying to think a little bit ahead for the boss. Kingfisher. Oh, but the boss, I remember the strange frog, is airborne blocking. If something is airborne blocking, does that mean that it just damages the guy, or does it just not damage at all? It just says block. Yeah, block, I'm assuming, means not let you attack the player, but you still gotta attack the person that has the block. Okay. Okay, I'll put it on the stunted wolf then, maybe. So, let's... I mean, there is another one over here, but that's a little bit too far away. Let's go here. Raven. Pronghorn. The sadistic pronghorn. Woe be to those that meet the end of its antlers. Bifurcated strike. And it moves. Magpie. The covetous magpie. It can fetch any card in your deck. Oh, shh. What? Hoarder. When a card bearing the sigil is played, you may search your deck for any card and take it into your hand. Oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is great, but I already have one and it's only one attack, so I'll, I'll take this one. Magpie, interesting. And it's also airborne. Hello. Hi. <laughs> you look... Ah. Ah, but I can also give this property to somebody else. Somebody else with a lower... Lower cost. But two blood, to be able to get any card I want, I feel like it's not that... Oh, to get it in your hand though, not to play it. But I got the squirrel thing going on, so... Mm. I think I'll stick with the Mantis God. But sacrificing... This is supposed to be a rare card, right? Is it rare because it's got the Trifurcated Strike? Or does it have some special properties, like Child 13? Because I still haven't figured out the Ringworm yet. <gasps> Did I say I was going to put it on... The Stunted Wolf? I believe so. Yeah, I can't even put it on the Wolf Cub. What is wrong with what you look like? Yeah, earlier your conversation kind of implied that you guys are not originally stoats, not originally cards. You've been stuck in a card now. I don't know what you're in though, like you're some kind of like a computer monitor, which is kind of like not the right time period. I feel like I'm not... Anyway, uh, Stunted Wolf. Shh, Uriuli is Stunted Wolf. A taste of my former glory. You're stunted now. do 
don't really have that many bone cards this time. So you found the stunted wolf. I have seen this play out enough times to know that a plan is in motion. Make haste. Yo, no, no. He's, uh, the stunted wolf said I hold the key, but I haven't been thinking about it at all. <laughs> oh, oh, these are strong guys. This will move over to wherever there's an empty space. I have one. Yeah, okay, I can play both the stoat and the stink bug in the same turn. At the end of this turn, you will move. Oh, this thing is so strong, I really want to get rid of it right away, because three damage on me it might be kind of scary. But I can I can counter it. Right. Because Stoat plus Stink Bug is two, so it's really only just gonna do one. Yeah, that's a really... it's tipping a scale. That's like, sometimes it's a bit hard for me to wrap my head around that. It's not like, um... Does that make sense? Three is only important relative to what I have. The number three itself is not that bad. I mean, the mole's gonna move with me anyway, so it doesn't really matter where I put this. <laughs> Keep me alive. I'll try my best. Oh, no, the stink bug. Oh, I can lower what you do to me. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just do that and prepare for the, the moose. Put you here to block the moose. Thank you. Thank you very much. There's my corpse maggot. Which is a three blood sacrifice. Wolf. The worst wolf in my whole deck. Great. <laughs> Still better than the stoat, though, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I think this is for the best. Well, maybe. This guy... Maybe I want to save the three blood, though. And then the mole is gonna move over here, so not that big of an issue. Oh, the mole can move multiple times in the same turn. It moved twice just now. Once in reaction to the wolf attacking, and once in reaction to the corpse attacking. Corpse maggot attacking. Ew. It's not the skull, it's like the little maggots. That's gross. Okay. Wolf cub, here we go. Star of the day. No, having to put- oh. Oh, that's something to note, right? Because bifurcated strike doesn't work on the side. Something to know for the future. Hmm. Bit of a waste here. I guess I'll put you... Again, though, you're gonna move. Is it that? Magpie. Magpie, not the most important of what I need right now. Oh boy, oh god. Ringworm. Let's freaking get attacked or something. Or I can try to get a card I want in my hand. I want to figure this out though, because right now it's just been useless. I'm hoping it'll do something, but I don't know what it'll do. Okay, so even though I can summon the magpie, I will leave you alone and see what happens when the ringworm dies. Oh, I can't. I can't. The trial of kin. Two of the three drawn cards must be kin. The trial of power. They must be more than four attack. The trial of blood. The three drawn cards must cost at least four blood combined to pass. So bone would be bad. I've got two bone cards. But otherwise, one, 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 one. Okay, as long as I draw Iriuli, magpie, 
wolf, then I'd be okay. So three, three out of ten, guaranteed win. And this one, power. I've got the ringworm, which is kind of a killer here. Wolf. Wolf, stunted wolf, Uriuli. If I get these ones, I'll have a guaranteed win. So again, three out of ten. And then this one, kin. Two of them must be kin. I've got three wolves here. Which is very low chance. So either either the second or the third. Three. Well, I had a good chance. I had a good success rate with the first... This one. We'll see. Let the trial of power begin. Uh-oh. Oh, oh god! Oh, oh, thank god for the Yuri Yuli. Lord. Ooh, kitty! Kitty, kitty! Oh my god, corpse eater. If a creature that you own perishes by combat, a card bearing the sigil in your hand will... Oh. Opossum. Unkillable. Skink. Mix a tail. And... Oh... If a creature you own perishes by combat... Yeah, so this is like, um... It's like this guy. Wait! So if I have all these cards, like if I have the cat, the skink, and the corpse maggot in my hand, then everything would just rush out of my hand? Oh, that could be interesting. I don't have anything this time that's unkillable. Unkillable. The wolf cub being unkillable would make me feel really good. But I don't think I can put more stuff on the wolf cub. There is a limit, right? Like, this is like already putting the thing on the thing's face. I don't think we can put more stuff on this guy. I can put it on the stunted wolf. Purely thinking about the sigils I want here. This could be good, though. The skink. Bone cards. Okay, but you know what? I think we should use- I think we should rely on bone cards a little bit more, especially given how we have that thing with the squirrels. Because right now, we only have one card that needs bone. This guy is not a guy I would, I'd ever want to play. So let's get this, so we can use some bones. Oh, I say that, but I'm gonna sacrifice it anyway. Yeah, because I want- <laughs> Ah! No, I'm gonna get another card from the Bone Lord, which is gonna give me two starting bone tokens. Not useful for me today. Unkillable, give it to the stunted wolf? Yeah, okay. Yeah, instead of randomly clicking today, I feel like I'm actually thinking about the strategy a little bit more. Am I your choice? Hold on. Wait, you're not even here. Oh, the stunted wolf already received something, so it can't receive any more. Oh, no. Well, in that case, maybe I can take the magpie and give this to somebody else then. Airborne plus search for whatever card. Give it to the stoat. Yeah, give you, give you something to do. You've got nothing to do. The ringworm. Sure. Or the wolf. Yeah, the stoat. Or the stink bug. Okay, you know what? Stoat. Come on. Yeah? Alright. Oh yeah. Your face is covered up. We haven't had trinkets for so long, holy crap. Okay. Moose bug? Mole man. Oh, it's like an upgraded version of our last battle. Well, obviously I'm gonna want to start with my wolf cub. Bifurcated strike? If I put it here, it's gonna get these two guys. Oh no, but this guy's gonna move. No, no, it's gonna... Yeah, it's just gonna block me. Hmm. I can put the ring ringworm down. It's not gonna do anything. <laughs> I can also put the opossum down, actually. Oh, what a waste then. This is... Unkillable is nice, but like... 
Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, that's a great starting point. Stink bug, hey, hey. Can I, can I just get rid of cards? Yeah, I, I can't, like, if I want to put down a squirrel, I can't even because I, there's no way for me to get rid of a card without my opponent doing something to it, attacking my creature, or if I sacrifice it. So bone cards cannot be gotten rid of unless if I die naturally. Okay. Oh, that's annoying. It just went over to both spaces. Opossum is back. Stink bug. Could be useful, stink bug. Unkillable. Yeah, just lower people's Draw a card. Hey, yo, yo, yo! Yo, yo, man. I want the boulder to go away first, though. Okay. What do I want, though? What do I want? <laughs> Haven't tried you yet. I should remember this more often, like, these two, this blood sacrifice thing, that's gonna really help me with the Ura Yuli. I don't have to get rid of my entire thing. Get the... Oh, but this spot's not gonna be that useful. Oh, when the boulder dies, it's gonna be useful. You took the film role, is that correct? My plan nears its moment of truth, but you must defeat him first. Okay. Oh boy. Oh no, my wolf! My wolf is... Okay, it's okay though, I've got- I've got the- the trifurcated strike on the stunted wolf. Oh. Okay, so I'm thinking next turn... My wolf is gonna attack the mole. Which means it's gonna stop blocking me. Trifurcated strike? is going to mean that I get 6 damage total, but I can- if I do Urayuli, I can just get some over damage, right? So instead of doing all that, so I, um... Hold on. Oh, but I gotta kill everybody here, never mind. I was thinking of summoning the Urayuli, but it's not worth it, is it? Because right now, the mole is gonna come over, and there's an elk behind it. Right, okay. Forget it then, forget it. Are you sure? Sure as I'll ever be. It's spilling. Okay, okay, we're making some progress. The trapper we haven't seen in a while. I want to do that just... Oh, what's this one? I don't really want another totem. I'm completely happy with what I have right now. Until next time, anyway. Oh, I'm gonna miss this run so much because this is so good. I love the squirrels. Oh. Okay. Well, yeah. I have the most exquisite pelts. <laughs> the first one's free. Thank you. Golden pelt? Golden pelt? Why, why do I want this? It's like a sheep or something? I have 33. I'm done now. I'm done. Much appreciated. Didn't somebody, like somebody later down the line, oh, this one, right? They wanted the, I think it's this one? The lady wants golden pelts? So I can choose totem or sacrifices. These are three health, can help me block a little bit. Sigils. The bullfrog, I don't really need to use you anymore. I can move your blocking sigil to... Maybe even the stink bug. In general, probably better to have, like, less cards and more sigils on the fewer amount of cards. Yeah? Ringworm, still a mystery? Okay.
There's only two. I don't want to kill the stink bug though, I feel bad. And you talk. So, airborne blocking. Can put on the Uriuli. I'll put it on the... Yeah, stink bug. Stink bug is really easy to summon. Especially with the squirrel and the extra bone token in the beginning. Yes! More power! Ah, it's a glowing. Here we go. Wow, we've used so few trinkets today. Okay, I've got a golden pelt, yay. Rayuli. Mole man, moose bug. Wow, it's that same combination again. I feel like we've seen this already. So can I summon uh, the, the golden pelt? I don't remember, does it like... It's gonna move, right? So I'll put it like here maybe. Can I sacrifice it? It's not moving. I guess not. Oh! Oh, that was a misplay. That was a- oh god, I- <gasps> I've never had the wolf cub die before, so just never consider- I- I just never considered that I could die in the first turn. That's right! I- oh no! Okay, I relied on that card a little bit too much. Now I feel very, very insecure without it. <laughs> hmm. He can't sacrifice a golden pelt. Okay. Oh, this might be a problem. We might... Oh, that was a big misplay right at the very beginning too. But hey, the only way we'll know it's a mistake is if we make it. Because it's hard to like... Think about all these things in advance, most of the time. Opossum. Unkillable. Right, so you can come back to my hand as long as I... ...bring you back. I want to put the wolf... Well, the moose book is really scary right now. But I gotta get rid of it eventually. Get rid of the elk fawn. Yeah, so we're getting rid of like one thing. Entirely. And the opossum is immediately back. We gotta get rid of some of these mole people. They're all stuck right now, they can't move. Oh shoot, there's already a fully grown elk in the back. Holy crap. Put it right there. You can block some damage. That's fine, just block some damage. Oh god, okay. Alright. Bring out the Urayuli. That'd be cool. Wait, 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 wait. No, I can't bring it out yet. I need one more. Unfortunately. No, I don't because my squirrel comes back. That's right. <laughs> okay, sorry. Just having a moment here. And the opossum is back. Holy frick, this is amazing. So you... block the dude. You... keep blocking. Oh, but the moment's gonna block the Urayuli. That's so annoying. This is not gonna be as simple as I want it to be. Shoot! My plan! That's right! Oh, the freaking mole man is ruining everything. Still alive, but very soon gonna get done in by the elk. I'm not gonna summon this guy. Am I? I don't think so. Okay, no, no change in the scale today. All right. The stoat can. The mole man moves multiple times every turn, though. We gotta just get rid of it. We gotta get rid of it entirely, if we wanna be able to attack at all. 
He bifurcated strike? Oh, what an awful spot. I should have put the freaking... I should have put the stoat here so I can get the bifurcated strike from the um, stunted wolf. But hey, we'll still get two spaces. Or this guy. This guy bypasses everybody. Oh, but this guy's blocking the air, though. Yum. Hmm. Just do this one, then. Use me wisely. Oh! Stop that! Yay! <laughs> the opossum can help me hang on for a little bit, but if we're just talking about hanging on, it might just be better to have the golden pelt, to be honest. Isn't it? Because the opossum will come back to my hand, but it only blocks one damage, so the golden pelt here... Blocking a little bit more? Oh, but I didn't kill the guy. Didn't kill the- Oh! Yeah, I was preparing for the turn afterwards, but I won that turn already. Okay. Did I want to go trade the pelt for something earlier? I don't think we've been to this one yet. There's a totem. I don't need to go to the totem. A campfire would be really nice, but I feel like... I think that's the lady who wants the pelts? I'm not sure. Let me check out the... Um... Yeah, okay. I don't have a coyote. I can't do this this time. I don't have a coyote. Just want to check out the... Look, there are teeth here! How often do I have to check? I don't know. Ooh! Lady it is. I've got a lot of pelts for you. Are your pelts clean? Uh, I, I, I hope so. Hair pelts. Is it a lady? I don't even remember. He always puts on the same mask, so who even knows? Great white! Waterborne. Submerges itself, cannot be attacked. No. No, 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 no. This is, um... Waterborne is like the opposite of airborne. Basically, during your turn, it can't die. It can't die? Hmm. It can't die. Hmm. <laughs> Suddenly, that's like a realize. What the hell is this? What? Okay. Um, I really wanted the great white just now, but what is that? Oh God! What? Mirror the power. Okay, you know what? Do it. Do it. Sorry, great white. Next time, maybe. I don't know what the hell that was. Is that a, a golden pelt? Magnificent. I've got three, actually. Amoeba. Two bones. When a card bearing the sigil is drawn, the sigil is replaced with another sigil at random. Depending on choice, just random choice. Can I get three then? Because I have three. I don't need child 13. Long elk. This is fun, but like strategically, Kind of like whatever. Or Boris. Well, I have a. The opossum is kind of like the Or Boris, but the bone version. Eh, this could be fun. Oh, hell yeah. We get three out of five. We got three out of four. Or Boris. And the elk. Oh, oops, sorry. The. You have my gratitude. Damn, that was a lot of cards. Uh, no totem. Oh, I can't- Oh, I gotta do the totem. That's okay. I don't have to change anything. The woodcarver who fixed her intense gaze upon you. That is like a arachnid thingy. This is the airborne blocking. That is a wolf! Wolf killing everything in one hit. I've got so much crap in my- like, I have, um... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I've got 14 cards now, so the chances of me drawing a wolf are significantly decreased. You know what? I'll take it. Like, I'll take it, but I- I'm gonna stick with a squirrel, probably. 
This is just too good. It's this one, right? Yeah. It's just perfect. But now my- oh, my deck- what the hell is this? We've got so many- so much random stuff that maybe we're not gonna get a chance to try out before we see the boss. A little bit worried about that. It's hard to do a strategy if you don't know what it does, but it's fun, I guess. <laughs> oh, it's right here! What? It's right here already! Holy sh- We have four cards I've never used before. Okay, I've used the Long Elk before. That could be good. So, um, for this boss, what we've seen so far is that they have strange frogs, and what happens is if we kill it, it turns into a trap. A trap, if you hurt it, it will destroy your cards. Which means I might want to rely more on the wolf cub here. And the kingfisher. No, maybe not even the kingfisher. Oh, I think the strange frog blocks airborne stuff, but the trap doesn't. So if I can get the wolf cub to like change it into a trap or... I don't know, figure something out. These... like what the hell even... This is not... Hello, this is not English. What is this? Mirror. Uh, I'm gonna guess maybe mirror means... Whatever attack power your opponent has in the space opposite to it, it'll have it. What is it though? It's like some tentacle stuff. Amoeba. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> One way to find out if we'll be able to do it this time. You took in the familiar sights and scents of the trapper's pelts, but something was different. The once friendly man now beheld you with a steely gaze. I'm afraid I must be skinning you today. Okay, what we could do immediately- Oh shoot, there was a card right there. It's a trap. Oh no, the trap also has airborne. Shoot, what's my strategy? I need a strategy. Okay, Wolf Cub on the first draw, that's amazing. Yeah, I think to begin with, like, this is- this is a okay plan, right? Just Wolf Cub right here. Do I want to put down anything else? If I don't do that, these two... These two will attack me next turn. Kingfisher is here too! That's amazing. Raider smoke? Of course I want the bones right away. Or do I? I can use it to like block some attacks first. This guy? Curious, but might want to save him for later on. I'm guessing like this is kind of similar to the trap then. Maybe? Hold on, hold on. I've got a good hand here. I just gotta like think a little bit and use it properly, I think. So after my wolf cub attacks, these are going to be left with one health each. So they'll they'll be free to attack me next turn. This guy's not going to attack. I don't want them to be attacking me. So I want to put stuff in these two spaces to block them from attacking me. Which means I can put down the smoke right here. And I can also just put down a squirrel or the kingfisher. But the Kingfisher could also be very good for the reason of wanting this. If I pick up the Ura Yuli later on, that could be huge. So instead of using the Kingfisher to block, maybe I'll just use a Squirrel to block. It's gonna be one less attack, but I think... Might be worth. Or... Put down this guy. Right, it mirrors. It mirrors. So it's not gonna be great. But this is the same as, uh, yeah, it's like putting down the Kingfisher, sure. Okay, now we have a bunch of traps. Corpse maggot. Alright. Ew, what? Is that your mouth? What? Ew. Oh no, that's that thingy. Okay. If I can get past the traps, we'll be okay. The wolf will continue to get these two spaces.
Oh no, this guy now has no attack. Oh, this is holding a mirror. That's what it is. I thought it was a candy or something. But what is it? Anyway, this is no longer going to attack until I get the bullfrog in here. If I put down the kingfisher, this is gonna die, but my kingfisher is also gonna die. That's what I'm worried about. But if I'm thinking about the Urayuli, we have two threes right now, so I think it'll be okay, actually. So, you know what? Do this. The greater smoke is dead. The corpse maggot is now on the field. The kingfisher is now dead. That, what? Wow, this is one of the- wait, this is phase one still. I completely forgot about there being two phases. Shoot. Shoot, I might have messed up then. I used a lot of my good cards already. Greetings! These wolf pelts! Oh, it's- I got it from the traps, that's what it is. So, this one I'm gonna have trouble attacking. I can just ignore it. But the wolf is slowly dying to the frog. So I don't want that either. Why did I put the squirrel down? I don't know. There is nothing... Yeah, let's start attacking a little bit. Just freaking... Oh, jeez. The wolf is just gonna whittle down away. That's so sad. Oh, maybe I should have saved some... Shoot, I'm gonna win this round already. Maybe I should have saved these cards for next round. Oh, shoot, that was a... Misplay after misplay. We'll see. Okay. Exquisite pelts, but the cycle must continue. Let's trade. Oh, tra I still have a hook. Whoa! Powerful cards. I will accept only the finest pelts for them. Wait, you're gonna give me a card? Trade for what you can, but know this. The rest will stay and fight for me. Oh, shoot! Oh, I accidentally clicked on it! Because I thought you were still talking- Oh, shh. Oh, the wolf is probably one of the worst ones we could have gotten just now. Oh, my God. Um... The rest will stay. Grizzly... Three blood. I can- I can summon the grizzly by sacrificing the corpse mag. Get... Bifurcated, three, bifurc- bifurcated- okay, this could be good. Oh my god, bifurcated adder. Bifurcated adder. This I feel like we have to have. Bifurcated moose buck. There is an airborne sigil. We could just bypass everything and do a freaking airborne thing and call it a day. Great White cannot be attacked. Oh my god, I did a misclick on the wolf earlier. I'm so upset. You're kind of like the mole, right? This is the same effect as the burrower. The raven being airborne. No one here blocks airborne. Okay, I'll take... Um... But I'm looking at the, the cost as well, the cost of the blood. The adder takes two. I've got the squirrel, but it's not invincible, you know? <sighs> How much blood tokens or bone tokens do I have? Oh my god, okay, just, just let me try to wrap my head around this here. The cards I have right now, two blood. Let's take away some of the three blood ones. These seem good. The bifurcated one I'm especially worried about. I do have one corpse maggot that I can use to summon one of these guys. But which one do I want? Bifurcated moose buck? Hell yeah, I think it'll be worth it. What does Hefty do? Move everything. I can still do one more. I'm not gonna have enough blood to sacrifice for all this, will I? Take the Great White. 
I would have chosen differently. Oh! The other thing is, if I just took everything in the first row, I didn't think about this at all, then I could have just attacked everybody immediately, right? Because they had nothing in the first row. Oh shoot, I'm stupid. I am so stupid. The Bloodhound though, oh that would have been a great one to take away. Okay, so to begin with, I'm gonna take away the Corpse Maggot and summon maybe... Okay, I want to take away the squirrel first and put the, the moose in this spot. Which means I gotta just put down something else. Okay. Okay, actually if I do it like this... Because both of the, the moose and the adder have bifurcated strike. I think my wolf is gonna die soon though. Hmm. Like that. And then... I'll put down the moose buck. But yeah, putting it on the edges is kind of reducing its effectiveness. That's what I'm a little bit worried about. So looking a little bit ahead here... I guess I'll put it over here. Or we can kill the raven. No, the raven's gonna die immediately because of the adder. Whatever. Oh my god. <laughs> and then... I can put down a squirrel. Oh, I... Oh, I didn't know I could cut you like that. You move even when it's not your turn. So the burrower is different because it only moves when it gets attacked, but you move immediately because you smell the blood. Wow. Oh, that's it! Okay, all that thinking paid off. You will not perish quite yet. Still haven't used my hook. Perhaps one of these will entice you? Okay, okay, okay. Pack rat. Mole man. Urayuli. Not more than one, just need one. Mole man is good for blocking damage. Pack rat? I haven't even used items so far, but you know what? If I had the choice to... If I had the choice to have more items... Why not, right? But the Mole Man is great, though. Easy to summon as well, but that's a very defensive sort of play. I'd rather just be really, really offensive. No, one Ura Yuli is enough. Pack Rat. My deck is getting kind of beefy, though. Like, too many different cards. With the enigmatic trapper and traitor now bleeding into the snow, you persisted. You could see a light in the distance. The end is near. We will need another map. Oh! Hold on, hold on. Can I get some more teeth? I can indeed. So we still have some puzzles here that are not solved yet. Namely... Oh, maybe this is the only one left, actually. Oh, it might be, yeah, but this one I just can't do because I don't have a coyote right now. <laughs> oh, I can steal- I can steal someone's coyote. With my hook? Just for the sake of doing that puzzle? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, we'll see. I can do one last sacrifice, I can get some trinkets, or I can go to the pelt lady again. How many teeth do I even have right now? I can't say. It's too dark. I feel like it would be a good choice to do a sacrifice, just to trim down my deck a little bit. I didn't even get to try some of these cards. God. But what would I want to do? <laughs> this ringworm. I don't even understand what it did in the end. God. Unkillable. I wish I could put more stuff on the wolf cub, but that's it. I can't put any more. Do I want anything on the unkillable right now? On the elk? 
Putting unkillable on something that has a touch of death. That could be good, right? Sprinter. The pack rat. Let's have a look. Yeah, I don't think I want a trinket though because we've already got the pack rat, so let's do this. Or Boris. The sigil is replaced with another sigil at random. This could be interesting too. Who can be a receiver though? The Urayuli? I mean, I'm obviously eyeing the touch of death right now, but... Mm. Yeah, let's, let's put this touch of death on... Or maybe we'll put the unkillable on the long elk. Four bones? Well, bones are pretty easy to come by, so okay, you know what? We'll just do it like this. Or Boris? On the long elk. Yeah. I wish it was on something a little bit... Mm, this could be... Actually, maybe this guy would be a good one. Unkillable? Keep mirroring people. Easy... Cost? Well, okay, this guy then. Sure. Take a chance. Oh boy. It's a glowing mirror. Your eyes have fixed themselves on the small cabin. It's warm light a beacon in the oppressive darkness of the night. Surely, surely this cabin marked the end of your travels, travails. I can move. Ugh, why are the trees like that? Wow, that's a not suspicious looking moon at all. Steps away from the strange cabin, you were presented with an opportunity. I don't offer my boons to just any traveler. If you are able to pass my trials, you will be rewarded mightily. The trial of skins. The three drawn cards must include a pelt card. I don't think I have a single one right now. The trial of the winged. The three drawn cards must include a card with the airborne sigil. The trial of the swift. The three drawn cards must include a card with a sprinter sigil. I am not being allowed to look at my deck. Because I'm pretty sure we don't have a single pelt. We got a bunch of pelts in the boss fight, but they weren't permanent. This one, we might... We don't have any... Uh, we might have like one airborne thing. Shoot. I'm not allowed to see my cards. Oh, uh, the elk. I think only the elk has this. How many airborne things do I have, actually? Very low chance either way. Airborne. Trying to think of what airborne cards I have. I think I had one. I remember seeing it flapping earlier on the battlefield. But probably just one. So one of each. Oh, screw it. Whatever. Let the trial of the swift begin. Oh! Oh! Long Elk is a card with a sprinter sigil. Success. I will grant you one of my most powerful boons. Cards that dramatically alter the game, and you don't even need to draw them. 
the boon of goat's blood. You will start a battle with a black goat on the board. The boon of the magpie's eye. When you draw from your deck, you may choose any card in your deck to draw. Every single turn? The boon of the boon lord. You will start a battle with eight bones. Every single turn for the magpie? I mean, that sounds way too good to be true. We will repeat that once more. The trial of rarity. The three drawn cards must include a rare card. The trial of the ring. If you have a ring, you pass automatically. A ring? Oh, the ringworm? Yeah, I mean, like, that kind of looks like the ringworm. See, a normal ring would be like a circle, right? But it's got like this little overlapping bit that reminds me of the... Oh, the Ouroboros might be a ring. The Ouroboros and the ringworm. The trial of the Find. The three drawn cards must include a card with a waterborne sigil. Okay, I don't have any of those. Rare cards? I do have a few. A few, but I don't know... <laughs> this one? Uh... We pass automatically if we have... I, I don't have a ring on my finger. But the ringworm? That would make it useful. Because it hasn't done anything so far, right? Oh god. Let the trial of the ring begin. Oh! Yes! Oh my god, thank god I didn't freaking sacrifice you anywhere. That's tricky, because the card made it seem like it's looking for an actual ring and not a card. Ah, oh, a ring. Success. Your choice of boons. The boon of the boon lord. The boon of the ambidextrous. You may draw twice at the beginning of your turn. Oh, whoa, whoa. The boon of the goat's blood. Oh, draw twice, draw twice. Don't even need to think. You just randomly help me? Okay. Whoa! You managed to get both of my boons. What does that even mean? Like, your eyes are like, are you excited? Or was that not you? I rarely say this, but I am impressed. You have been a worthy adversary. But unfortunately, I must soon put you to death. Okay, bring it on, I suppose. Oh! You're human. That's somehow surprising. You took your time out there. And I'm itching for another game. Are you ready to play? I can't leave. I hope you are adequately prepared. Perhaps... one more. To be safe. What? Are you joking me? Oh, that's cheating. Come on. What? No wonder I need those extra boons. They seem so OP, but like... I might need them. Mole man? A amalgam. Oh, what is that? It's like a combination of different creatures. Amalgam? Amalgamation? Okay, so we gotta get rid of this guy, otherwise, we're not gonna be able to attack him. Oh, I don't need this. This is the most useless one I could have gotten. Yeah. Dang it. Okay. Wolf or the pack rat?
I kind of want to put down the pack rat just to get an extra item immediately. Even though the wolf does more damage. Is that okay? And... Oh, if I put it right here, then the amalgam can't come out. It'll be... The mole man will be blocking it. Yeah? This... Oh, but if I put this guy... Hold on. It'll be able to come out if I put this guy down. Hmm. Well, I feel like we should anyway, though. Yeah, okay. Pick another card. The thing is, it's the first phase right now, and we don't know what's gonna happen in the other phases. We don't even know what's gonna happen in this phase. Okay, I've got- I've got a hook. I can steal their cards if I want to. I can steal the moment card! Actually, I could. I could, couldn't I? Okay, now that we have perfect information here, I'm kind of like, oh, what do I choose? What do I choose? Maybe the elk would be good for the moment, but I'm kind of thinking of stealing it for myself too. Is that a little bit too early though? Using the hook right now? Yeah, I think it might be kind of useless because the moment is good because the rows are empty, but if it's not empty, then it can't move. Okay, in that case, should I... Should I use the elk then? I've got enough bones. Just to get rid of the guy. Oh, I wish the elk would attack first. Okay, let's just, just get rid of it. Maybe. Mm. A squirrel for fun. Okay, oh, I got a black goat from the pack rat. Okay, good to know, good to know. Yeah, if the elk attacked first, I could have saved turns, but I... didn't have that amount of foresight, I guess. Amalgam. I want to use the Irayuli right now, but is it too early? I think we should just use it. Should I? Yeah, I mean, I suppose, why not? What? Oh, I can draw two cards! That's right! Am I your choice? Mirror. Hmm. The wolf cub? I'll go. Bifurcate. Uh, I will guess I'll use... Maybe I'll bring this guy out for a bit. We meet again. I'm thinking a lot now, because we have perfect information. We... Theoretically, like, we know what they're gonna do. We know what I'm gonna... Oh! Mantis God! Trifurcated Strike! Oh! They put it in a really weird spot, though. In the corner? But we've got to be careful about that, then. Holy crap. Okay. I'm gonna use a black goat right here. Ah, I'm gonna have to take away one of these guys as well. That's okay. I'll take away this guy. Oh, I only need to take away one. Okay. Urayuli? No, I can do a scroll again. And then, instead of... What I could do is attack this guy and kill it. Or I could just choose to... Do it over here. Yeah. And then you can block. Yes! Oh! You capably endured the onslaught of rare creatures. But the true challenge was forthcoming. Shadowy figures appeared before you. 
In their eyes glimmered a recognition of kinship, but colored by guilt. They were betraying you. Oh! <gasps> hey, Reginald! I haven't... Casey, I don't know you. I remember that one fondly. Wait, Reginald, touch of death. Touch of death. Well, it's gonna be touch of deathing my long elk. I gotta get rid of the stump. Or I could just not. I could just... I can't move my Uriuli though. If I put down the wolf right now, it's a bit of a waste. But draw cards first. The Kingfisher might be a good one here, just to bypass everybody and do damage. But very slow damage, though. So the Uriuli is going to be able to kill the guy behind it right away, I think. This guy... Okay, let's try this guy. And then... Corpse Maggot? Am I gonna need it? Maybe. It's gonna be three, so I'll kill the guy, but I'm not gonna hit anybody behind it. But the Urayuli will be okay. I could have done the Stunted Wolf, but I don't want to waste a Trifurcated Strike on a corner piece. I'll wait till either the Amoeba or Long Elk dies. Oh! What? Yo, what the- Oh my god, n what? Oh n Okay, Reginald actually helped me out here then. What the hell? Kaminsky! Well, these are all the dead people then. Oh... I haven't seen Wellens this time, so I might I might have to worry about that later later on. But um for now I gotta worry about Reginald. Hold on. The mirror only mirrors the damage, not the effects. I have to kill it. Oh, there's a stump here, which means this gold nugget is gonna stay. Yeah, I was thinking of putting down the stunted wolf, but it'll die because it's only two and this guy has three health. So I need to put down the normal wolf, but of course we can't get the three, three layers of damage because of that. This guy, guardian. Oh, you will move to the empty space. Yeah, I think we need to do it like that though. Oh my god. Oh, draw a card. Hmm. This guy will keep him in check. But no, we, we have very limited space right now because no one's coming out here, no one's coming out here. Like, there's a stump blocking, so these two spaces are the only spaces we have, and we... We can't sacrifice the bone creatures. It's not a blood creature. I have way too many bone tokens, holy crap. Let's... Get the opossum. No, no, oh my god. I don't know, I don't know, there's too much... Choices, choices. Kingfisher, sure. Another one? Right, I'm drawing all my cards already, oh my god. I'm gonna be out of cards really soon. This is bad. Oh, wait, so this guy is like... That mo that was a prospector ability, right? Putting the gold nuggets here. Oh, so maybe I should be expecting to see the other abilities later on too. We've got to be careful. Anyway, this turn I got to put down. Wait, the wolf? The wolf needs two blood. I can use the corpse maggot. Like I just need to get rid of Reginald right away first. Immediately.
but it's worth three blood. Okay, I'm gonna... Um, this is a... Okay. It's crazy. I know. Kinda crazy. Stunted wolf? Will help me get rid of the stump. But it won't help me get rid of the gold nugget. A new card might come in later on, but... Okay, um... Really? Or should I just do a Kingfisher? Just do the Stunted Wolf. Oh, I can't because I gotta put down a Squirrel first, right? Okay. Oh, this is kind of a waste, though. Do it. Do it. Alas! Still got the hook. All stale. Hard shoes. Oh, now you want to get rid of my... Okay, get rid of the gold nugget, I don't care. Lewis! Kaminsky, I haven't even seen these people! Should we just keep going? I think we... Wolf cub? And then... I, I barely have cards to draw from. Okay, just, just get rid of my gold nugget, please. That's good. Yes! Oh, we're doing it. <sighs> this damned moon. It's dramatic, yes. But it provides no value to my board. I wonder... What? Now that is value. What? What is it? Oh, Moonstrike! Mighty Leap! No airborne. Moonstrike. You will strike every single opposing space with 40? Tidal Lock. At the beginning of its owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will pull small creatures like squirrels into its orbit. What? Okay, I have this mirror card. Wouldn't that be good here? Uh, I feel like it's my only chance. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, 40 health, one attack. I thought it was 40 attack, never mind. <laughs> I, I need you to get away. I need you to destroy the gold nuggets, please. Should I just... Uh, in that case, I mean, I can just attack, right? Is that... Use the hook? The ringworm's useless here. Well, the, no, the ringworm is so good, though. Like, oh my god, if I didn't have it, I wouldn't have been able to get the boon, maybe. Fish hook? Can I even hook it I don't have space to hook it over, though. That's the thing. Not now. There's nothing that can be hooked. Okay, now you're gonna help me get rid of the gold nugget. Okay, that's good. It'll block... Airborne stuff, so the Kingfisher is useless here. Not useless, it'll attack the moon. The moon! What the hell is going on here? Oh, I wish I had the Urayuli. Stink bug. Oh, stink bug! Yo, dude. Stink bug, just hold on. Oh, I gotta draw. I, all I have is squirrels. Stink bug, making it so he, that you can't attack for one turn. No, but I, I want you to attack though. I want you to attack so to get rid of my gold nuggets first. Okay. Should I just leave the squirrel here then? Or should I put down something so I can attack more? I'm just thinking because... Yeah, um... I mean, sure. You're out of space. There is no room for that card. Right, I gotta do a blood card. Mm. The stoat? Sure, I suppose. Keep me alive. You keep yourself alive. Okay, now I have a lot of free space. 
And a freak ton of squirrels, holy crap. Okay, now I'm gonna put down the stink bug. Masterful. And then the wolf cub? Oh no, no, the wolf cub needs some sacrifices first. I have way too many squirrels in my hand now. Will this be good enough? The mirror won't do anything now. Ah! Uh, opossum? Come on, wolf cub, I'm relying on you. You're my best chance. What is this? Weakening my moon with a stinky sigil. It makes no sense. Moons do not have a sense of smell. This is not how I imagined this battle going. Too bad. <laughs> Too freaking bad. Okay, we just keep going then. Oh, and it can't attack... It can't- it literally cannot attack me, because that's the only card it has, so... We're, we got it then, we got it! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! We did it! She really destroyed the moon. I suppose all that's left is to finish me off. Look at these squirrel cards, I- I drew my entire deck. Go on. Ah. Oh. Nothing to hook. Oh, okay. Here goes. Check out my deck though. Look at that. Oh my god. We did it! Oh my, did I just, I think I just beat him. Oh. <laughs> there it is, the other shoe. Typical Daniel Mullins game. <laughs> what? The hell? So this is the voice in the very beginning then. I purposefully left it in my very first video. You might want to go back and have a look. Right after the credits. The credits in the beginning, the logos. There was a guy speaking. What is this? 400. We're looking at a camera right now. Cam works. Kaminsky? Subtitles. Closed captioning, okay. It's three seconds long. How do I go back? September 15th. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack opening video. Today, what? I am opening Catch Monsters packs and digging for that epic, shiny Transcend Dog! And here I'll add some crazy VFX with lightning bolts or something. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am about to open my first pack. Feeling good about this one. Feeling real good. Ooh, what do we got here? What is happening? Okay, and our first rare is a Birchkin. Not exactly a viable competitive card, but Hey, it's a pretty one. All right, next pack. Feeling even better about this one. I gotta say, these cards are feeling extra silky today. I mean, they're so smooth. Not sure what they're doing down there at the, uh, the card factory, but um, these are feeling good in my hands. Okay, let's see what we got here. Some jank cards. Maybe a few additions to my draft cube, we'll see. And our rare for this pack is... Bamdog! Not exactly riveting so far, but we have many packs to go. 
Next pack, here we come! I'll just cut out this part. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny, he's leaving little audio cues for himself for video editing later. Which is exactly what I do when I play grindy parts in games too. <laughs> um... Somehow simultaneously surprised and not surprised at what's happening, I have no idea what's going on. Let's see. We were playing a card game up until now, where we were trying to escape a cabin. And now we've somehow gone to a part where... There's this... Streamer slash YouTuber type, who's playing a card game. By the way, look at this mouse here, this is my normal mouse. But back in the game earlier, the whole time, it was like this gigantic red cursor. So it's like, different now. This one's scary. Hey there, card gamers! I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is a vintage pack opening video. Today I'm opening a few super rare old packs I snagged at a garage sale. I've got four packs of Inscription. Oh! You would not believe the deal I got on these. Now, not all of you will even remember this game. I'm barely old enough to have uh, seen these going around in my childhood. Uh, for whatever reason, they only did one set of these cards and then stopped printing them. Uh, there's not a huge market for them anymore, but at the rate I got them for, there's not really much to lose. That being said, a foil mantis god goes for a couple hundred bucks, so fingers crossed. Wow. Really cool art on these. Definitely stands the test of time. And our rare for this pack is Blue Mage. Cool looking card, but not going to be worth very much. I've never seen All that. Right. Let's see what we got going on in the second pack. Huh. Uh, this pack has been opened and resealed. Hope no one snuck the rare out of it. Hmm. That would suck. Go get a refund or something. You probably can't though, these are like old packs. Come on people, honestly. Who opens and reseals a pack? Yeah. There's a set of coordinates on this card. Looks like they were drawn on with a pen. 49 degrees north, 123 degrees west. Uh, I think... I'd have to check, but I think that's pretty nearby. <laughs> Where is that? 45, 49 degrees north? Um... I don't want to Google it in case if I accidentally come across spoilers, so I guess we'll keep going, but uh, that's a real-life location, right? Like a geographic coordinates? Okay. Inscription is a real card game. But then how does this tie in with the stoat and the stink bug and all that? Oh, and the film, the film! Hey, uh, guys, I we defeated the boss, now what? Alright, you guys. I'm out here. Living my best life. Got my trusty headlamp and shovel. Always come prepared, kids. All right. Whew. There we go. Yeah. Okay. He's going to the spot. Whew. Getting close. I think. Assuming there is a thing to get close to. This very well may be a massive waste of- Oh. That's spooky. Hey, it's late at night right now. It's like 2.30 in the morning. Don't show me spooky stuff, please. Okay, so it messed up when he went near the place. And then- oh, he's still here. October 3rd. This year? All right. What year? That's why you always bring an extra battery, boys and girls. Oh. Every time. You gotta come prepared. <sighs> okay. This is kind of sketchy. <laughs> okay, that's really sketchy. That's a gigantic hole. All right. This is it. Uh, 
And now, we dig. Well, you came in the morning. That's smart. Oh. I give a 75% chance it's a rock. But, only one way to find out. Is this guy Kaminsky? What even are we looking at? What the fuck? Is that? Oh my god, you guys, I can't believe it. There's actually something here. Floppy disk. What? What the fuck? Okay, go home now. Let's go home. Guys, are you seeing this? I'm, uh, I'm a little confused. Are you going in the hole? Go home. Oh my god, this reminds me of Marble Hornets. Does anyone know that ARG series? You can find it on YouTube. Back before Slenderman became popular from like video games and stuff, that was like the one popular thing back in like, what, 2009 that Slenderman was known for? Okay, he went home, he's okay, he's safe. I don't. He's on Amazon. <laughs> One week later. Okay, time to figure out what's on this thing. So is this Windows 7? It doesn't look like Windows 10. So like, this is a few years ago, maybe. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that red cursor. Yeah, what? Well, this is what we were playing. I just stopped the footage. I'm scared. Well, I looked at everything already. What? What? I do not celebrate often, and I seldom give gifts. Oh, for defeating you? But you, challenger. You are worthy. Please, do not be polite. Dig in. <laughs> what is it? Is there something wrong? Your prize awaits. Uh, no thank you. Very well. Come with me. Wait, we just got pulled out into the real world for a second, and then, like, we're back in because we stopped browsing the footage? Stand right there. Oh, the film, the film! What is that flashing? Who gave you that? You absolute ingrate! Oh my god, that scared the sh out of me. Oh! <gasps> oh! The freaking camera turns people into cards! Oh, oh, oh what? What? Hey, that was the icon that was missing in the very beginning, right? 
the ability to start a new game. I didn't have it. Remember? We can only continue. We didn't start a new game. Even though I never did start a new game. Wait, I'm trying to, like, get over... Okay, I'm trying to, like, figure out where to go right now, but... I think we're trying to get to the light, but it's very, very dark, so I don't know... Oh my god, have I been locked inside somewhere? Okay, my game just crashed while I was walking around in the darkness. I don't think that's part of the game, because I went to my reliability, like, event viewer history, and it actually did crash. But the new game is now available, I'm kind of wondering... Well, let's try continuing first. Okay. Okay, we are in the darkness. What is this? Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, let's go to new game then and see what happens. Yeah, that's supposed to be new, right? Maybe they crashed my game because I wasn't trying to... What? Whoa, 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 whoa! In the beginning, the world did not know cards. That is, until the day the scribes arrived. Each had their own method of inscription to create cards, including a camera. Grimora used her quill to inscribe the epitaphs of the dead. Epitaphs. Bleshy used his wildlife camera to capture beasts. That's our guy! PO3 used a particle scanner to copy the CPUs of robots. And Magnificus used his brush to paint his wizard pupils. With the cards created, the scribes had solidified their power. Until one day, a challenger arrived to replace one of the scribes. Me? Wait, we just started a new game in- What? <laughs> what the hell?